Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Today we're going to be talking about exponential properties involving products. Now that's just a fancy way of saying we're going to deal with powers or like squared numbers and cube numbers and the properties that control operations of these when you're involved when you're doing multiplication. And before this lesson's over, you should understand what a power is, what an exponent is, what the base is, how the product of powers property works, how the power of a power property works, and how the power of a product property works. Let's review some vocabulary that you're probably familiar with. We'll start with x, just a variable x. And we'll raise it to the third power, x cubed. Now we call that x the base. And we call the 3 the power. That's x to the third power. We also call that 3 the exponent. Now you know what x cubed means. It's x multiplied by itself 3 times. It equals x times x times x. All right, well, let's move into the first property, the product of powers property. And pow product of powers property means we're going to be dealing with multiplication. We're going to be multiplying exponents or bases that are taken to certain powers. For instance, if I were to multiply x squared times x to the third, what would that equal? Well, let's just translate x squared into x times x, because x squared means x multiplied by itself two times. And then we're going to multiply that times x to the third power, or x multiplied by itself three times. So x squared times x to the third equals x times x times x times x times x, five x's, or x to the fifth power. Well, here's the product of powers property. We had x to the second power, and we multiplied it times x to the third power. To get the answer, we can just add those powers. We add the 2 plus the 3, and the answer is x to the fifth. The product of powers property says that if I have a to the fourth, and I'm going to multiply it times a squared, I just add those two powers, the 4 and the 2, and my answer is going to be a to the 6th. Try this one. There's two problems here, so you're going to need a few minutes. Hit the pause button, solve both problems, and then hit the forward key to move on to my solution. Well, the first question is, what is x to the fifth times x to the eighth equal? And we're just testing your understanding of the product of powers property, which says that if I'm multiplying a like term, like an x, times uh, another like term, an x, and they're both raised to a power, I can just add those powers to get the answer. So x to the fifth times x to the eighth equals x to the fifth plus eighth or x to the 13th. Second problem, is it true or false? z to the 125th property equals z to the 75th times z to the 50th. Well again, that's just the product of powers property. z to the 125th equals z to the 100th plus the 25th or it equals z to the 75th plus 50th. And z to the 75th plus 50th is the same thing as z to the 75th 
times z to the 50th. So it is true. z to the 125th equals z to the 75th plus z to the 50th. Our second exponential property involving products is power of a power property. Now you understand that a cubed equals a times a times a. It's a multiplied by itself three times. Well, what if we had a cubed and we wanted to square it? What would that be? Well, we can change a cubed to a times a times a and then square that. And by squaring a times a times a, we're just multiplying a times a times a twice. So to be a times a times a times a times a times a. I got six a's there, so that equals a to the sixth. Well, the power of a power property gives us a shortcut for figuring that out. a cubed squared equals a to the 3 times 2 power. We take that third power and we multiply it by the squared power and we get 3 times 2 and that equals 6. The power of a power property says that if I have a number raised to a power and I want to raise that to a higher power such as x cubed to the fifth power I simply multiply those two exponents 3 times 5 and I'd get x to the 15th. You try this one. It's a little bit tricky because you got to remember PEMDAS, order of operations. And then you got to remember both the first and the second uh, property of exponents. Give it a try. Hit your pause button. When you finish the problem, hit your forward key to move on to my solution. We're asked to simplify the expression x squared times x cubed, all cubed. Well, how do we do that? What would we do first? I mean, I've got a whole bunch of operations here. I've got a exponent. I've got a uh, multiply. I mean, what, what am I going to do first? Well, hopefully you remember PEMDAS, order of operations. Do parentheses first, exponents next, multiplication following that, division, and then addition, and then subtraction. So what are we going to do first? Well, we're going to do parentheses first. We're going to do what's inside the parentheses. So we're going to multiply x squared times x third. And you remember when I'm multiplying two uh, numbers raised to a power, I'd simply add those powers together to get the answer. So x squared times x to the third would equal x to the 2 plus 3 power and then I'm going to cube that expression. x to the 2 plus 3 power is x to the fifth power. Now I want the cube or the third power of x to the fifth. And when I take a power of a power I multiply those two powers. So x to the fifth to the third power is x to the 5 times 3 power or x to the 15th power. Our last exponential property is the power of a product property. And this is pretty simple. You know that a cubed equals a times a times a. Well what if we had a b cubed? Hopefully you can see that that would be AB times AB times AB, or A times B times A times B times A times B. Now I can adjust the positions of the A's and B's and rewrite that to A times A times A times B times B times B. And A times A times A is A cubed, and B times B times B is B cubed. So the expression AB to the third power equals a to the third power times b to the third power. And that is the power of products property. If I have two unlike 
variables x and y and I want to raise that expression to the mth power it's simply x to the m times y to the m. You try this one. Now remember PEMDAS and remember that there's a couple of uh, different properties of exponents that you're going to have to utilize to get the answer. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to my answer. We're asked to simplify 2a cubed times 2a squared. And PEMDAS is where we go to figure out where to start. PEMDAS says let's deal with the parentheses first. But inside those parentheses I've just got 2a. And I can't simplify 2a. There's no like terms there. There's no operation I can do. So I have to move on to the e in PEMDAS, exponents. Now I do have some exponents. And I can use my power of a product property to carry out and simplify each of those individual expressions. 2a cubed is 2 cubed times a cubed and 2a squared is 2 squared times a squared. Well now I can simplify these again using the exponents and change that 2, a, 2 cubed to 8 cubed or 8 times a cubed and I can change the 2 squared to 4 times a squared. Well now I've got 8a cubed times 4a squared. And I can combine like terms. I can combine my 4 times my 8 and you know that that's 32. But what happens when I combine a cubed times a squared? Well the product of powers property would tell us that we add the 3 and the 2 and we get a to the fifth. So 8a cubed times 4a squared is 8 times 4, or 32, plus a cubed times a squared, or a to the fifth. The answer is 32 a to the fifth. Well, that's our lesson on exponent properties involving products. I hope you learned a lot. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and you'll find some worksheets and quizzes there that will help make sure you understand the concept of exponent properties involving products. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned a lot. And I hope we see you again real soon.